live or we're living with fear or we're living in a way that's not natural to us that is in the complexities and still be able to just be present we can do it and that's what raising consciousness is all about in, in every you know the thought of you know just death comes up is as a fear sometimes and you just watch it and you realize that hello to everyone i have a lot to share with a lot of you um i know i've been quite absent from social media for a long time and uh, a lot of people have been curious what i'm doing where i've been it's been years now um even though the social media is running a team is running it sharing about the new book and the sharing the photos and videos that i send them um but it hasn't been like the journey before where people many of you who have been with me for many years have followed the journey i've been on for many years from the first book they have seen how active i used to be on social media sharing about my life about me about everything about the spiritual path about evolution of consciousness and blah 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 uh and the books and everything and it was a different phase of life and last few years have been a completely different phase of life where the spiritual path has been strong but because of the external materialistic things happening of divine interventions that um it takes you on a different direction of inward journey and for me last year especially and over that period of time has been a very off social media more in the physical world um kind of reality where i have just been more focused on the ground and taking care of more practical things and just focusing on life itself and trying to integrate spirituality and consciousness into life into my own life to practice it because the reason i got into all of this was to become a better human more conscious being and i didn't want to live the way i used to live before in us or in india where i was just blindly following the herd and doing something that i was conditioned to believe conditioned to do brainwash to do and just had no other way of looking at life and then once i did look at another way of seeing life which was more multidimensional and more with an understanding of what is life you know life is what are we just doing in life why is everyone just running around why are they just following something that they're just programmed to be in you know and this whole exploration began in me 6 like 7 years ago in south america and peru it started from new york and it went on to peru and it went on to amazons and talked about ayahuasca and plant medicine my experience in the amazon jungles and how it completely changed me killed me killed the old me and that's how this whole journey began you know and um and i'm sharing all of this for many people is for them just to know why uh what i'm saying now and sharing and where it's coming from and why i want to send this message out into the world and whoever may see it or not i don't care it's not for people to listen to me it's just i just want to share the experience of humanness and how these years have shown me how all our lives were just living to not live or we're living with fear or we're living in a way that's not natural to us that is not aligned you know all our body and mind and soul and we can truly share our creation our existence and try to create peace and love in our lives and with other people and build something beautiful together and all of this is you know it's it's very interesting i'm kind of not thinking right now i'm just sharing whatever is coming cuz just been living like this lately just trying to be as present as possible not thinking about the past not worrying about the future just being present i'm living in a jungle in brazil with my wife i got married by the way to many of you who don't know i married a very beautiful woman and it's also that also has been a part of the story you know i've been with her the last 6 months and it's been um, yeah building a relationship is a lot of work you know and it's a lot of work in your own self to uh, see how how spiritual you are and how conscious you are because is the truest form of reflection um that's one aspect of the story and i just want to say that to people out there who are young people like thinking about life and spirituality and all these things and and figuring out stuff or want to figure out stuff like just take it easy you know don't go too hard just the key is to just be present and try to not be so much the ego and just try to be present because our egos have just become too big and i'm sharing with my own ego because it's just too big trying to break it for so many years and still you realize you just it just never ends you know the ego is and it's so complicated the way it works it's not like oh you are doing this because you have ego or you are saying this because all the ego is very complex and it is what makes this illusion that is the life we see and how we perceive and project real 
ego is the core core chip in that programming and it's so deep in all of us and it's in in so many ways in group our minds and what it does it it still keeps us away from the present because we're so complex in our ego and our games of projection and perception and human relationships and life that program through ego works we're not actually be able to be present and just be present without any ego without any attachment to my color my name my identity my ancestry or nation like just all concepts of all concepts of mind just completely break them and just be in an intelligence that is deeper than the mind it is beyond the body and it's beyond the mind it's consciousness expanding and connecting to universal source and seeing to things in a much more expanded and a much lighter way that you realize that life is not that complicated and it's actually in today's world where so many people are just caught up in distractions and millions of choices but can't decide one thing for example including me like we go on Netflix and it takes us 4 hours to pick a movie now because there's so many options so we're a generation who's just lost in the options and distractions of the modern society and we have no idea who the fuck we are because who we are is the biggest illusion what we think of ourselves our name everything so to realize life and whatever we are we need to just keep breaking ourselves but this breaking ourselves journey is just so long and hard you know but it's beautiful because meant to be that way there is no easy or hard in life it just is and you learn to understand how it's not about becoming some something it's about unbecoming everything that you were in this life and of many lives so it's just clearing you know it's like you're just clearing and i i mean i don't know why i'm sharing all of this now to be honest i've lost it uh my chain of thought but it's a feeling i'm sharing so it's coming from a space of um sharing this without an expectation of what you're going to receive or what you want but based on i am here to share what i really feel has been in my journey just completely transformational for myself for my relationships for my life my relationships with the material world everything creation just everything you know uh because life is about being in this world and experiencing all forms of human existences as a husband as a son as a friend um as a worker as everything we are here to experience the illusion in all its comp- complexity because that's what helps us see the ego in all its complexity and then if we can free ourselves from all these complexities while being in the complexities and still be able to just be present we can do it and that's what raising consciousness is all about and, and every every human can slowly arrive in these spaces and states as a collective we become so powerful and united and it's expanded that everything changes automatically so it's actually interesting it all goes back to the self in so many ways because sometimes you know my actions have seemed selfish to many people and even me coming off of instagram not being responsive to so many people readers who have read my books or kartik's books is i need to come out why i did it in the sense that i was being selfish i was working on myself so that i could be selfless again in a way where it comes from my heart and is truly able to share something that i feel genuinely came from me for me in a way where i experienced it and i felt wow this is what life is about and life is not in our control things just happen situations just happen and <coughs> all we can do is i'm just coming off of a flu by the way and this is part of the scheme that life is just about change and rebirths and deaths and reinventions and presence and letting go and not trying to control and not trying to fit or not trying to be someone it's truly about love and starting from self love and then sharing that love with others <coughs> it's the core of human existence and if humans can do that do this they can create healthy relationships with everyone because what's missing in this world more than what we say love is missing love is missing it's actually self love is missing people are obsessed with themselves but they they're not realize the love they have within themselves and that love is the strength it's a source and we're so connected from our source and it's a long journey i feel like for me for everyone because connecting from our source in our inside from the earth from the land from nature you know just living in a jungle 
with fresh water and nature alone it's not scary it's actually quite liberating because you just live so simply you eat what is there you breathe air you spend time with yourself and you're present you're watching the nature grow by just being that's what our nature is we can we're like trees we sit and we breathe and we take sun and we take water and we can just grow just by nourishing ourselves nourishing our souls it's just we're just so disconnected from our natural rhythms and cycles and understanding and it's okay it's part of the process we have to go through these cycles um so it's been a long life i've just shared so much information and uh, and i decided to share this because why not i think if if this anything from this can be shared from my last two years of madness and more and now i'm again found myself in brazil which is another long cycle since amazons in south america i'm again in the another very mystical area one of the most uh, dense forest areas in the world i'm at right now and very disconnected we just have wi-fi in our house and we are quite disconnected from everything um and i was in i got flu last like after a long time i got a f- sick and pretty bad i was down you know and you know in the jungle and you know the thought of you know just death comes up is as a fear sometimes and you just watch it and you realize that there is no death you know we're always just dying and and getting birth again like every day we can become a new being by choice by killing who we were before and creating something new based on who we really are and that's a choice you can make every day and i'm trying to do that do that and yeah and it's it brings a lot of joy and um darkness and light and everything in your life and i think life is very beautiful no matter what happens and it is here to show us why we took birth in this body on this planet at this time like we are here for a reason and whatever that reason may be we need to be able to explore that possibility of why we are here and who we are and yeah and authentically if we can really do it with deep in ourselves and really being honest with ourselves you know yeah so long long video <laughs> what is time take care i'm sending lots of love from brazil ciao